What up, YouTube? G4 Elite here once again, back with another video for you guys. In today's topic will be my thoughts on the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron trailer that was just leaked tonight. Originally, the trailer was supposed to come out October 28th, but it was leaked early by someone we don't really know. But Marvel jumped ahead of that shit, and they already released their official version, you know, trying to get ahead of the leaked version. So whatever the case may be, we got to see the um, teaser trailer early. And I must say I'm very excited about this movie. From what we saw, um, you could probably gather that this whole Ultron problem is Tony Stark's um, fault, the way he's talking. You could tell by his down and out term that he that he it's his fault somehow, you know, and I'm and I'm willing to believe um it's probably Jarvis that turned into Ultron and they're going to do some shit like that. But also in the trailer we get to see Silk Quicksilver in action, the Scarlet Witch in action. We get to see them two working. Um I don't know if they are working with the Avengers in this movie or are they just in the movie, so I can't really tell from what they showed, but it's awesome just to see them in the movie. But another twist is seeing um the hulk spazzing out we see the hulk spazzing out in the movie and he's essentially fighting iron man and you see iron man breaks out his whole hulk buster armor to take on the hulk and i don't know why they're fighting in this movie and this kind of leading me to believe maybe at some point we might get a, a planet hulk movie they just haven't revealed it yet maybe they're setting up for one because why else will Hulk be fighting Iron Man? Unless, you know, Ultron took control of Tony Stark's other armors and shit. And, and that's one of his most powerful armors. And, you, and Hulk has to stop that particular armor. Unless it's some shit like that. But I'm hoping that we get a Planet Hulk movie someday. That Hulk gets spazzed out of control. And then maybe next movie they get to talking about um, sending Hulk away because he's too dangerous for Earth. And in another scene, we see that Captain America's shield has been broken. You know, they have someone has shattered his shield, which leads me to believe that Ultron has got his hands on animanium, which is pretty much the only thing that can break Captain America's shield. So it leads me to believe that he's got that. He he got vibranium as well. So we might get a full overpowered Ultron in this movie, which I would love to see all the Avengers just taking on all um full Ultron, which will be epic. But what I am interested to see is how they're going to portray Ultron without Hank Pym. There is no Ant-Man in this movie. We know this for sure now. So I'm really wondering how they are going to do Ultron story that way. And speaking of Vibranium, how they even going to go over Vibranium as well without introducing um Black Panther, that whole arc too. So it's two major arcs that they're missing. So I'm wondering how they're going to fit this together in a movie. But like I said, we just gonna have to see when the movie drops in April. I'm very excited after seeing this trailer. It's a great trailer. If you haven't checked it out yet, go see it on Marvel's website. They're posting it everywhere. So just go check it out. Hit me down in the comments down below. Tell me how you feel too about the trailer after seeing it. So drop a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel for more discussions like this one. Chief for the leader signing off, and thank you guys for watching.